process control what it means is that uh, uh, you select uh, one or more um, performance matrix that you have chosen to uh, improve. Let us say uh, your project was about uh, improving uh, cycle time, reducing cycle time or uh, your project was about improving quality, improving customer satisfaction, reducing cost. So, uh, generally speaking you pick the same performance matrix that you are going to uh, improve and then uh, you measure that performance matrix and use that matrix to uh, create something called as a process control chart. Randomness you cannot avoid. Even if you follow the process perfectly the same way every time the outcome is going to be different because there are so many variables that you just cannot uh, predict. So, the idea would be to determine if the variation is inherent uh, to the system is a part of the natural affairs that it is a variation is going to happen you call that as a common cause variation or is it is that variation caused by some kind of a special cause. So, some uh, terminology is useful here. Uh, for example, is the process under control or is it uh, out of control? So, that is what you are trying to find out. So, whenever you are out of control, the control chart is uh, showing you uh, that there is some kind of a, a special thing is happening and therefore, you need to take a corrective action. Now, uh, of course, the other condition is in control that observation is within the control limit. So, then uh, there is going to be a variation, it is not as if your performance is exactly the same all the time. There is some variation, but that variation is inherent, natural within a small, uh, small amount and it is, so your observations are within a control chart. So, let us look at uh, uh, a typical control chart, pick some observations, make a plot, figure out what is the center line going through this, you just take an average of uh, the observations and that is where you draw your center line the observation there is some variation in terms of the value of your performance and that variation uh, can be represented as you know a standard deviation is a, a measure of a variability uh, in the system. So, what you try typically do is that uh, you draw your center line at the average of observations and average plus 3 standard deviations you draw the upper control limit and average minus 3 standard deviations you draw the lower control limits. So, let me describe uh, those 3 most often uh, used kinds of uh, process control charts. So, uh, this particular chart is about attributes. So, typically a uh, good or bad, uh, defect or no defect that kind of a situation that is when you use your uh, P chart. So, uh, let us look at X bar R chart, X bar chart is for the means and R chart is for the sample ranges, so range of uh, observations. So, you use two charts simultaneously and generally you use when sample size is about 5 to 15. So, the last chart is X M R chart, these are for individual sample values. So again the point is uh, you have all these formulas that have been ready made by statisticians and you use uh, those formulas to compute your upper and lower control limit.